the fastest star in the Milky Way. We all know planets orbit around their host star. Some of them go faster than others, and all of this depends on how distant they are from the star. For example, Jupiter travels at an average velocity of 13.7 kilometers per hour in its orbit around the Sun, while the Earth at about 29.78 kilometers per hour. But have you ever wondered what is the average velocity of a star? Even if lesser than planets, stars could be very different from each other. A lot of them are giants, some others are dwarfs, some of them are very dense while others have a big radius, but it's just because the gas they're made of has a low density. With that being said, how do we measure the velocity of a star? Keep watching the video to get to know the answer to these questions and to hear more about the fastest star in the Milky Way. Spoiler, it goes faster than you can imagine. Not too long ago, we spotted the fastest star in the Milky Way. It travels at 8% of the speed of light. This means its average velocity is about 24,000 kilometers per second or 15,000 miles per second. The star is dubbed S4714, but from now on we'll call it Bolt just to make this video less boring. Bolt survives in the extreme environment at the center of our galaxy. It's orbiting an unusual object, a very peculiar one. Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole of the Milky Way. As we said, on its journey it reaches a speed of 8% of the speed of light. But what if I told you that it's not even the most amazing thing about it? In fact, Bolt is a weird type of star. It's a squeezar. Squeezars type stars were proposed 20 years ago by astrophysicists Tal Alexander and Mark Morris. They published an article on the astrophysical journey in which they proposed the existence of a class of transient sources called squeezars, which are stars caught in highly eccentric orbits around a massive black hole, whose atypically high luminosity is powered by tidal interactions with the black hole. Their existence follows from the presence of a mass sink, the supermassive black hole in the galactic center which drives a flow of stars into nearly radial orbits to replace those it has destroyed. So our star, Bolt, has given us the first candidates for a type of star originally proposed nearly 20 years ago. In other words, squeezars are stars that get so close to a black hole that they are squeezed by its tidal forces. Bolt is just one of a group of stars that have now been discovered skimming Sagittarius A star on closer orbits than any other stars discovered previously. Even though the Milky Way is a quiet galaxy compared to more active galaxies with quasars in their center, the environment around Sagittarius A star can get pretty wild. It's actually a bulge around there. Stars are constantly orbiting the black hole along unusual paths. Astronomers, for example, have identified a number of stars on looping, long, and sharply elliptical orbits in that region. You just have to imagine an oval, the path with the black hole at the center. These are insane trajectories, and if you add the fact that they move along their paths with an absurd velocity at some percent of the speed of light, you get the recipe for the most peculiar kinematics discovery we can make in our universe. Isn't it amazing? However, these crazy going stars are called S-stars, and we can use them to probe the properties of the gargantuan invisible object they orbit. Before Bolt's detection, for years a star called S2 was regarded as the nearest star to the black hole. At its periapsis, that is the point in which the star reaches its maximum velocity, the gravitational kick from the black hole approach can accelerate this star to 3% of the speed of light. But then a team from the University of Cologne, Germany found another star, S62, that was harder to spot because it was much fainter. It took 9.9 .9 years to orbit Sagittarius A star. That's closer than the average distance between Uranus and the Sun. It was also much closer to the black hole and this implied it traveled much faster than S2. In fact, astronomers estimated its maximum velocity to reach 6.7% of the speed of light. But Pisker, this was the lead team author's name, wasn't done. After years of work, the team now discovered five new S stars even closer than S2. S4711, S4712, S4713, S4714, R Bolt, and S4715. I'm happy that I had the opportunity to work and observe with the Very Large Telescope, 
the galactic center for the last seven years, Fisker declared. Of the new stars, S4711 and S4714 are the most important ones. Let's see what we know about S4711. We know it's a blue B-type star around 150 million years old, and it goes around Sagittarius A star once every 7.6 years with a periapsis distance of 21.5 billion kilometers. The period of 7.6 years is shorter than S62, and this tells us it has the shortest mean distance to the black hole throughout its entire orbit that we've yet observed. S4714 Bolt instead has a longer orbital period than S4711, 12 years, but its orbit is extremely eccentric. Eccentricity is a measure of the roundness of an orbit, and it takes values from 0 to 1. A null eccentricity corresponds to a perfect circumference. A big eccentricity means the ellipse shape is elongated, one being an escape orbit. S4714 has an orbital eccentricity of 0 0.985. These extreme stars, Piesker said, are the first real candidates for squeezars, first theorized back in 2003. Astrophysicists Tal Alexander and Mark Morris proposed a class of stars on highly eccentric orbits around massive black holes. At each pass, the tidal forces convert a fraction of the star's close orbital energy into heat. This firstly makes the star shine more brightly than it normally would, and secondly contributes to the star's orbital decay. In other words, squeezars are dead stars orbiting. According to Beesker, at least S4711 and S4714 are squeezar candidates. I would say I'm sure about S4711 since the orbital elements are consistent with the predictions of Tal Alexander in 2003. In this sense, S4711 is the very first squeezar ever detected. If confirmed, these stars could help to revolutionize our understanding of the interactions between black holes and the stars they devour. All of these studies involve the monumental use of stellar kinematics. But what is it? And why is it important to study stellar kinematics? Before answering this question, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can continue to improve and make these videos better for you, the viewer. Plus, be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. In astronomy, as one can imagine, stellar kinematics is the observational study or measurement of the kinematics or motions of stars through space. Stellar kinematics encompasses the measurement of stellar velocities in the Milky Way and its satellites as well as the internal kinematics of more distant galaxies. Measurement of the kinematics of stars in different subcomponents of the Milky Way, including the thin disk, the thick disk, the bulge, and the stellar halo provides important information about the formation and evolutionary history of our galaxy. Kinematic measurements can also identify exotic phenomena such as hypervelocity stars escaping from the Milky Way which are interpreted as the result of gravitational encounters of binary stars with the supermassive black hole at the galactic center. Stellar kinematics is related to but distant from the subject of stellar dynamics, which involves the theoretical study or modeling of the motion of stars under the influence of gravity. Stellar dynamical models of systems such as galaxies or star clusters are often compared with or tested against stellar kinematic data to study their evolutionary history and mass distributions, and to detect the presence of dark matter or supermassive black holes through their gravitational influence on stellar orbits. Now, as for what we said above, we can use kinematics to test our theories. For example, since these stars reach relativistic velocities, we can use them to test general relativity, both the way the star's light stretches when it approaches the black hole and the way its orbit shifts around like a spirograph confirmed Einstein's theory in some of the most strenuous tests yet. I know what you're thinking. Is it possible to find stars traveling at even more extreme velocities around Sagittarius A star? Of course, this is possible, with more powerful telescopes launching in the coming years, including the extremely large telescope we should be able to find them. We just have to be patient and, as always, keep it curious. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think about this video? Do you think we will spot faster stars in the upcoming years? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time on the channel.